Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live forever? To bear witness to centuries of change but remain untouched by time? Let's stroll through the annals of the Highlander series, where immortality isn't just a fantastical concept, but a thrilling reality. Here we've seen the life of Duncan MacLeod, an immortal locked in timeless combat. But what if the tales of one such immortal were not of battles and blood, but of friendships and personal growth? Meet Kyle Melton, the Kylander. The Kylander, like the heroes of old, ventured into his own version of Hades, a place known as Diablo II. It was a journey that paralleled the mythic odysseys of yore, fraught with formidable foes, surreal landscapes, and a quest for self-discovery. In this electronic underworld, the Kylander faced adversaries more fearsome than any cyclops or siren. His sword clashed with digital demons, his wits tested against intricate puzzles. Each encounter, each battle was a crucible, tempering his spirit, forging his character anew. But the Kylander's odyssey was not just about battles and quests, it was also about camaraderie and loyalty. Among his comrades were Chris Pangle and Ben Stagel, warriors as brave and true as any in Greek law. And let's not forget the enchanting Monica Gilmore, Rachel Wood and Alison Rizzer, who each added their own unique charms to the Kailanda saga. Yet, as in all Greek tales, there was a moment of epic betrayal. A moment that mirrored the treachery of Achilles towards Agamemnon. The Kylander, in a moment of weakness, or perhaps misguided courage, betrayed the trust of his best friend, Travis. He revealed to the world the existence of immortals, an action that would forever alter the course of their friendship and, indeed, the world. In every story of valor, there is a moment of betrayal. For the Kylander, it was revealing the existence of immortals, a decision that would change everything. No hero walks his path alone. The Kylander's journey was shared by many friends. Chris Pangle, the atheist, Ben Stegel, the potzer, and Dan Loretz, the estranged roommate. Not to mention later season regulars such as Brock Purvis, the Adventist, and Josh Jackson, man of action. Each played a vital role, each a thread in the intricate tapestry of his life. Through sword fights and ethical dilemmas, through love and betrayal, they forged the Kylander's spirit in the fires of their camaraderie. Their collective experiences, their shared laughter and tears, became the fabric of the Kylander's immortal existence. In the end, there could be only some, but what does it truly mean? It's a question that echoes through the Kylander's journey, a Jungian realization of self-discovery. It's about accepting one's individuality, acknowledging the complexities within. This tagline, it's not about grandeur or supremacy, but about the essence of being. The struggle, the triumph, the fall and the rise again, all carving out a unique immortal. The Kylander's journey is not just about immortality, but about finding oneself amidst the chaos of existence, about understanding that in the end we are all, in our own ways, immortal.